Hi everybody and welcome and welcome to part two of this basic build. Uh, where we left it last time on the last video was we actually glued in these four parts here. Uh, that has actually made the bottom half of this little build done. So we'll get rid of these clamps and this has had well, well over night to dry so it is now pretty solid and I can show you if we use the T as you can see everything is oh, I'm not showing you that as you can see everything is nice and square and plumb and the basic reason is because we use the square to actually build off. Right, I'm going to put that back onto my little square for the moment because it's just a, a nice base to work from. To finish off the bottom now, we need to run a, a soldier course along this front edge just to finish this uh, floor off before we, we move on up. Now, we're, it's going to be very easy to do. We get one of these brick sections and then I don't even see this so I did notice last time I didn't uh, show too much. We're going to just cut the ends off and fill in my building full of hardcore before I start all the way along, like so. Yeah, and then Cut the other side off as well. Ooh. Like that. Now that is going to make us a little soldier course. Just to go across the front edge of that floor just to finish it off and all we need to do is whenever my sanding sticks on is just give that a little rub down and then we can glue that in position there when we grout up that will all grout in and it won't be noticeable so I'm going to get on and get that bit glued in. I don't need to show you how to glue. Uh, it's going to be just glued on the back edge and uh, fixed in place. So I'm going to get that glued in and then I'll show you back in a second. Right, we've put the soldier course in along the front edge of the floor. That just makes the edge for things to actually come in without being uh, knocked off. And now the bottom half is virtually complete. Now we can move up to the top and work out the gables and the actual roof. Now I'm going to be using all stock material for this so this means that you can actually go to any modeling shop and buy this off the shelf. Now to start off with we need to run a well some type of lintel across the top to support the brickwork. Now this is 6.4 by 3.2. I will put the sizes on the bottom of the screen as we go along. And what we need to do is when I find a pencil, I've lost it. What we need to do is our first bit needs to come from this edge, this corner, to this corner. And just a small mark. And we'll cut that with a scalpel if I've got one kicking around, get this organised this morning. Uh, let's turn the camera a bit. I mean you can do this whichever way you want. I'm going to use scalpel because it's not because most of this is going to be covered. So that goes through there like that. Now I'm going to glue that piece in from side to side. And I'm going to do exactly the same at the back with a, another piece. And 
then I shall come back to you and we'll go on to the next section. Okay, uh, I glued the piece in front and back. We'll take the clamps off now because it's been drying for quite a while. So what we have now is a piece of timber or a piece of balsa wood running from corner to corner, front and back. Now I need to put in now a correction sheet. Uh, simple reason is I wasn't thinking when I actually did this soldier course on the front here I didn't allow uh, enough brick to actually come out because we're actually going to put brick corners on here and render this up so it's not half a brick it's going to be a full brick now the way uh, we're going to create that is two of the uh, pier ends and we're just going to join we're going to glue them together leave them to dry and then we're actually going to cut a full brick out of that so I'm going to glue uh, two of these together well actually four all together because we need two either side let me get them around the right way yes that's around the right way so I'm going to glue these two pieces together, leave them to dry, and then we're going to cut out a full brick. We have to join the two bits together to get the, the halves. So I'm going to do that, leave them to dry, and we will come back to them in... Uh, I'm going to give them a good few hours to dry before I start cutting them, cutting them about. So we'll be leaving them for uh, about three or four hours, and then we come back and I'll fit that bit. So I'm going to get on with that, and uh, I should be back in a minute. Right, I've got my two pieces here drying. They've been drying for quite a while, but uh, we'll, we will get back to these in a little while. While they're drying off, we'll turn our attention to actually doing uh, the gables. Gable ends, should I say. And what I'll do is if I turn it that way, I'll prop it up so you can see what I'm up to. Now, we need to make our gable end. So, to start off with, we've actually got this timber that raises up. So, that is three courses. Yeah? So, that's our first mark. Now, the rafter timber, which I'll be using, is 4.8 by 1.7. And that's to make your roof trusses which will be putting along the front now that roughly covers what i'm having a hard job to see now uh, about there so that's well actually that's telling a lie because we need to be there and that needs to be there so that only covers uh one two so that covers two courses of bricks, which is just there. Now, that's how far we've got to go up before we can actually start doing our pitch on the roof. So I'm just going to draw a line across there so you can actually see. So that is actually going to bring us up above this and allow for the roof trusses, as the roof trusses will be going inside of the brickwork. Now we've got that our height. Now we're going to make our little pyramid, should we call it? Yeah, we'll call it a pyramid. Now I know these are 85 millimeters long. Uh, so half of that, well, it's going to be 42 and a half, roughly. So that is roughly where it's going to be that's going to be the center so we draw a center line like so now what we've got we've got two four we've got five courses and i want to go up 17 courses uh, to make my pitch 17 courses on top of that i know these are 24 courses so uh, if we knock two courses off that should give us 22 courses 
Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So we've got uh, five courses at the bottom. We need 17 courses up uh, to the actual peak. Yeah. And these are uh, 24 courses high. So seven, uh, 17 and five. Yes, I definitely think it's 22. Knock off two, and we've got the right height there. So that is where uh, we're going to actually take each side to. Now, all we need to do now is to mark this across. As this, get my hands in the way. So that's our line. So we need to put our ruler to that point there and on this one to that point there yes that point there because then it's going to cut across there so we draw one line that way and one line that way now that has given us our pitch within a, a few millimeters if it's a little bit out we can always just run the, run the sanding stick down and correct it so I'm going to cut that and this cuts exactly the same as uh, all the other parts we're only going across at an angle when we find the but one cut first Hopefully that should snap. Just leaving a tooth on the end there. And the same that way. And there we've got our gable end. Right, so now I'm going to make another one up to fit this end exactly the same and I then shall get these glued into position and uh, then I shall be back to you okay I've glued one of the gable blends but I just thought I would show you I know it's gluing again but uh, we have to we have to do these things now if you use your square or uh, to actually put this up we'll put a good blob of glue along this edge where the gable is going to go onto that wood now if you use your square make sure that's all nice and level use your square against it then leave that to dry that way it's going to be guaranteed that it's going to be in line with the rest of it and nice and plumb so i just thought i'd show you that so i'm going to go off now leave this to dry and i shall be back with you in a second right it's had a little while to dry so what we need to do now now we've got them the external gable blends done is we need to get some bits put on the inside now it's very easily done. You get your full piece, and I'm looking around here and I've got some clippers. We need to take this one off, just snip that off so it sits down inside there and it does just about join. Yeah, it just joins that. So that sits down inside. Then all we do, we just turn it round like so. Place our blank into it. Then we just simply get our pencil and we just mark off like so. And we just cut them bits and pop them in both ends. So I'm going to get that done now. So I'm just going to cut them exactly the same way as we cut uh, these. You can cut these from the back, no problem at all. 
and if it does break off a little bit on the inside it doesn't matter because we've actually got our rafters that will actually be sat over the top and cover it so I'm going to get them cut get them glued in and then I'll come back to you we've now got the internal brickwork done on both of the gable ends these are the bits we just marked up and cut out and now we have the complete inside in brickwork then we move our attention to the actual brickwork on the outside and bring the little uh, drawing in now they're showing brickwork on the four corners and running up over the top of the gable uh, we'll be doing this by using uh, these pier uh, I don't I don't know if you could well what pier sections that actually come out of the wall section mold now what we'll be doing is just gluing these together and uh, making sure we've got it all around the right way yes we'll just be gluing these together just to make a corner like so that we can actually stick over this end like that so it's just a matter of uh, gluing two of them together and putting them onto a corner a piece of wood or something like that I'm going to use the back of uh, my bench I should just be gluing them and just putting them on there just to dry and I'll be doing six all together because we need four and then we need uh, an extra piece to go up the top okay now we're looking down uh, onto the gable end because I need to try and show you how I you can do these corners now as you can see I've done my corners which they they're sat on that edge of the bench now these are going to sit over the corner like that so we can actually do this part as render and what we need as well is a piece coming down the actual gable now I'll be using one of these sections and we'll be cutting all the way along I mess my bench up again all the way along cutting them teeth off on one side so it's uh, let me see that so it's like that so whipping that down with just a little bit of uh, you set your sanding stick now this now needs to be cut in because this brickwork needs to be brought up well above so we can actually cut that in so we're going to lift it up to the actual line that's the actual uh, five courses that we needed and if we just lay that on top there and you can roughly see now that is the angle you're going to need to cut into the brickwork when I find the pencil wherever it's gone so a small mark at the end there just to give you a rough idea of what angle you've got to cut and I'm just going to cut that back with a pair of snips and use a file just to file it back in so that bit will actually come in and meet like so we can see that I'm looking at the camera now this part we're going to have to sand down that will be sanded uh, from that point to that point so the roof comes down all together but I will go through that with you in a short while now I'm just going to turn that we've got the center line coming up here uh, so all we need to do is make sure that's onto that piece there and we just need to cut this brickwork on a straight line through which we can actually do with the snips goes in there like so 
that's going to need a tiny little bit of fettling just to make that right so that's what i'll be doing there and the same down this side now i'll do i'll get one side done complete and then i'll come back and you can have a little look and then we'll go on to the other side okay we've got the gable end done the two sides done i've actually fitted a small piece in here and i did say earlier on we weren't going to do uh, six pieces because they're very difficult to cut uh, and you need a small bit like that at the end and when you try and cut them the whole lot breaks so all you need to do is just measure up and you can literally break these with your fingers like so and we cut another piece for the other side and we just glue it in place like I've done there and that's the job complete now before we move on to the other other end what I've actually done I've just sanded that flat just with your uh, sanding stick well actually what we should do there first is we'll just uh, trim that back make it a little bit easier just for your sanding stick just to actually bring that down in line right the way through for when we put the actual roof on so when the actual roof goes on it's going to sit nice and neat and tidy against that that edge so i'm going to stick this uh, little bit on and I'm going to transfer everything that I've done this end over to that end and that then will be the two gable ends finished and complete right back with you again now uh, what's been done I ran both gable ends up and they're all done now the eagle-eyed people out there might have noticed that I've ran a single course of bricks along the bottom because that's what's shown on the picture and also this course of bricks is going to come in very useful uh, which I will explain in a short while very easily done just run the uh, scalpel down the line of the bricks quite a few times and they just fall off uh, not a complete section you do have to join them back up again but there's that's no big problem so I've got both day blends done and we've got a course of bricks running all the way around the bottom uh, along the front as well finishing at the doorway now I know I have still got step to put in but I don't want to do that for the moment because I'd like to get on with the rendering and I've got a bit of a cutting plan to do the rendering we're going to pour it uh, like we do your molds so this piece here that won't need anything doing we can pour that directly into that and get a real uh, nice finish the back half we're going to need to put some sort of dam uh, to stop it from flowing off so I'm going to be using some bits of altar wood just cutting them and fixing them down probably with pins or something like that to hold them in place I'm also going to be running a tiny bit of Vaseline along the edge here just to stop the plaster from sticking to the wood so I'll be cutting that out and fitting that and on the front I'll be doing exactly the same around the doors now it will be going up to the top of this timber and a piece across the top here as, as well so I'll just be fixing a piece up here and a piece across the top just to hold everything in place and then we can pour that with some casting plaster which should give us a good nice rendered finish so I'm going to get on with that um, it's going to be one of those things that you're going to have to well adapt yourself depends what you've got if you've got balsa wood if you've got bits of styrene anything at all just to make a 
down. So I'm going to get on with that and I'll show you back in a few seconds and you can see what I've actually done. Okay, right, what I've done, I've just used some false wood uh, and just made a dam all the way around the outside. I've poked some Vaseline down inside just to uh, help with the ceiling. Now hopefully this will work, if not I'm going to have egg on my face and I. Right, so I've got 10 mils of water, 20 grams of casting powder and I've also made sure that this surface is damp as well to help the flow of it, should I say, and it will stop it from drying it out so quick. So just let that dissolve. And hopefully this will work. If not, Simon's going to have egg on his face. Right. Then we're doing it on the vibrating table. Just give it a little bit of assistance there. And the unfortunate thing, my table isn't 100% level. So we need to uh, pop that up somehow. And uh, oh well, it's uh, it's worked to a fashion. Let's try the other side. See if that's going to work. Any better? I think I should have put some Vaseline around them bricks to stop them from uh, the plaster to stick to them. But there you go. We learn something new every day. And the thing is, I can only do this once. I think it probably would have been better being put on the vibrating table. But there you go. It does work. Well, almost work, should I say. So when you come to do it yourself, folks, you should know now to put it onto the vibrating table. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. By the time I've finished, uh, we cleaned it up a little bit. That will be okay. Now I'm going to leave that to dry, and then I'm going to move on to the other sides. Okay, I've poured all the sides. Uh, would I do it again? Yes. Uh, as I did each side, I put it on the vibrating table and I got a little bit more knowledgeable of how it reacts. I would do it again, yes. Uh, you do need to do it in two very thin coats. Uh, the first coat uh, be put on left until it's almost dry so you've got a real wet back and then the second one really thin a one-to-one -one mix and pour it in then just leave it it's come up okay i'm quite happy with it uh i'm going to do a little bit of fettling on it cleaning up sanding down i've got a couple of little holes here and there which just need a little bit of attention but then again i might not even bother because holes occurred in the plastic, well, the render work, should I say, uh, naturally. 
Now the only thing I've got left to do is to cut and fit this uh, step, which I bet everyone thought I'd forgotten about, but I haven't. I'm going to just uh, trim that up, and we're going to. I'm going to fit that, <coughs> and that is literally the bottom half completed. Uh, well, for the moment, until we do a bit of weathering and messing about on it. Now, this video has gone well over half an hour. So I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, now the bottom's finished. The next video will concern ourselves with uh, roof rafters, the tiling, making the barn doors, and grouting up inside. Well, I'll probably grout up before I do the roof, actually. So it's just a matter of getting the little bits and pieces finished off and then getting the roof and that done. So that's going to be on the next video. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for sitting through and watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the final part.